This sidewalk hatch cover has exposed hinges and a hockey puck lock mounted near the storefront. If firefighters were to cut the lock and lift it up on the recessed handle and encounter an interior locking device, they could cut the exposed hinges and remove the cover for access to the basement. This sidewalk cover has recessed hinges. They can be plunge cut with a saw to remove the panel. On some installations, the halogen tool can be used to pry up the entire frame from the sidewalk. Remember, locate the hockey puck's keyway and cut the lock two-thirds of the way up from it with the forcible entry saw. In many multiple dwellings, the storefronts may not be sprinklered. Firefighters should consider stretching an appropriate size hose line for a commercial occupancy. Our standard inch and a half or inch and three quarter line may not be large enough for the store's fire load. A taxpayer or a strip mall is a commercial occupancy, usually one to two stories in height. It can house numerous different type of occupancies and it shouldn't be confused with a storefront in a multiple dwelling. At this large multiple dwelling, you'll notice the storefront signage and canopy will hinder portable ladder placement to the second and third floor apartments. At storefront fires, it's very important to stretch numerous hand lines. One may be needed to protect fleeing occupants on the fire escape.